<clears throat> all right boys so i'm back here with another uh video i'm inside of my 2006 uh colorado and uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna review this uh v diag tool v10 code reader and you may ask yourself like you know because you've seen me with very powerful scan tools on my channel like why would i want to review this scan tool well, not scan to code reader. Well, for a couple of reasons. First reason is that maybe there's a new uh, person trying to get into DIY that's a really a budget minded person. And um, second of all, um, you know, if you are, say, an advanced DIY, maybe you just want to you want to help a family or friend out. And they keep telling you have this intermittent problem. Well, this can go for professionals as well. And they'd be like, well, I don't know when this problem is going to pop up and then you can say i tell you what take this code reader right here with you and when you have a problem plug it in go to the live data show them how to do that and take pictures of it or even video chats and you kind of give them a live you know session with you and you can help them resolve the issue and that way if something was to happen to this you wouldn't break the bank because right now i think um i'll throw it up on the screen i forget the exact number there last time i checked there was a um 20 percent coupon and it works out to be about 13 or 14 us dollars and um well um one other thing i want to tell you is that v diag tool this company here is actually a junior brand or a subsidiary if you will of x tool now so that means that in my opinion that they probably like likely have good support for their tools and also good customer service report now this thing is upgradable yeah, there is a mini USB uh, 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 cable attachment here. And for full disclosure, they actually sent me this um, to ask me to take a look at it. They also sent me this here as well, which is just going to be the next video. Basically, this is their circuit probe tester. And um, I've uh, looked up some information on it already. And so far, it's, well, it's really a great um, tool. So let me see if I can get a good setup here so we can see the screen on this thing right here pretty good. All right. So as you see, when you first cut it on right now, do not have the car on and you hit enter. What happens is that. Um, let's see here. You hit enter. Um, it just tells you how many modules monitors are found, how many OK and how many are incomplete. So that's important if you don't know, if you're just getting into car stuff to tell you, is your car going to pass inspection based on emissions? So now here's just a simple menu. Read the codes, erase the codes, uh, freeze frame data, read data stream. And you just hit up and down. I am uh, readiness and vehicle info. And then you just exit. So really for be a code reader, it has everything you need. You can erase codes. You got freeze frame data. So your check engine light come up. You don't not familiar with that freeze frame data tells you what the um, I guess OBD2 data periods were at that moment that the check engine light came on. And that can also be quite revealing. Um, you can read live data, whatever is a ODB2 uh, available for your car. Um, again, I am readiness is basically checking your emissions uh, monitors so when you go get your car inspected, so say if you want to do, say, a drive cycle to go see what's going on, you know, I mean, to get those to get those monitors up to date. Vehicle info. I think you can see the um, VIN number and other little info. So let's let's just go back here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and crank the car up here so we can look at some live uh, data. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that because it's actually hot, too, because <laughs> I'm outside the sun. All right. Okay, yeah, got me a little AC going. So anyway, let's go back to, uh, let's look at vehicle identification number. Since I've already came here, I, I'm going in the wrong order. But anyway, we go ahead and get this done. So we go to, you hit that and it up, up, up pops the VIN number to the car. Just as simple. And then there's other numbers. I think in my car, it only shows the calibration verification numbers. I think if I go to calibration ID, it doesn't do anything for me. So I'm just going to hit that and show you that it, um, oh, I hit exit, by the way. Let me do that again. I hit exit again. Let's go to no vehicle info. Let's go ahead. Finish out vehicle info since I'm already here. Calibration verification number and up pop some information just like that. Again, I don't know how relevant this would be to most people, but anyway, it's back out of here. 
So let's start back up at the top where we was at. Now, if you want to read codes, it's just as simple. So this is why this is nice for, for entry-level DIY person or say if you want to loan it to a person who doesn't have a whole lot of knowledge with calls, this is a good thing that 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 very friendly to use. So if you hit uh, enter, and again, I have no codes in this call, so nothing is going to pop up. That's when nothing pop up. Erase codes does what it says. You can erase codes. Again, I don't have any codes here, but that should be obvious. So let's go some freeze frame data. I don't have I don't have a check engine light. I'm going to see what happens. I don't think it'll show anything because, yeah, there's no freeze frame data. Because, again, freeze frame data, to my understanding, is tied to if you have a check engine light. If you have a check engine light on, again, what it does, it takes a snapshot. As soon as your check engine light comes on, your computer and your car takes a snapshot of all the relevant data peers that are available uh, that corresponds to whatever uh, ODB2 um, data peers that go into freeze frame. So you can take a look at that, say what RPMs, what's your mass airflow, sensor reading, things like that, for example. Um, let's back out. Um, read data stream. Now, here we go. Now, this is now this is important here. So, um, so now, if you hit data stream, what it does is just going to go through all the peers that it can read. Um, let me see here. Sometimes let me see here because I know with my older car here, it'll it'll um, it'll glitch a little bit. Not really with the scan tool, but with uh, again, this is an older. This is a 2006. Let me put that. I just unplugged it and put it back in there. So let's hit enter again. All my monitors okay. So let's go down to read data stream. And what will happen is that see now it's going. It'll look at all the PIDs that's available. Uh, ODB two PIDs and pull those up. So as you see, fuel system is in a closed loop, low percent, uh, ECT, uh, 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 engine coolant temperature, 172 degrees. We're getting warmed up here. Short term fuel trims on uh, looking really good. So again, you see up here, it says two to five, like right here. That's how many screens. So as you go down, there's, there's the third screen, the fourth screen and the fifth screen. So again, if you are wanting to let someone borrow this tool that doesn't know a lot about cars very easy to use and if you're just getting into uh, uh code reading and diy stuff very easy for you to get into as well all right so we've seen the live data so back out let's go to i am readiness as you can see we go ahead and hit it you can see dt since since last i don't have any so this drive cycle um let's just hit um this drive cycle i believe which, which which should be good meal status misfire monitor see there's a lot of these a lot of these things you can check here and we're going to hit enter um let's see here yeah everything yeah there we go everything is off okay 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 so there you have it it just gives you just a comprehensive you know cold reader and a very cheap comprehensive i say cold reader um setup in a very cheap package so uh, with that said um i would definitely say that um this scan tool is for the entry level diy it also can serve as for an advanced diy or maybe even a professional as well because again say if you have somebody with an intimate problem or if you have a family member or a friend and say hey um i want to check my own check engine light do you have something I can use? Well, this would be just perfect for them because not only you don't really sometimes less less is more when it comes to something like this for somebody who's just getting into this or don't know much about cars. As again, as you can see, straightforward text screens, text screens to just go through and not a whole lot and very easy to comprehend.